got very broad feet. Pum, 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 pum. Yeah, I think it also depends a lot on what footwear you wear all the time. Because I wear trainers all the time, that's why my feet are more, are more broad. Yeah, so that's, that happens, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sam always had extremely broad feet and still has very broad feet. He's um he's got a size 14 shoe. Sammy has they're like they're like boats, I tell you. Um and he's got broad feet. So they're just like I said to him, if I buy you some flippers, will that do? He's like, ah, oh, sure, Mum. Um but he's uh But we, when we went to my cousin's wedding, um, he was an usher. So he had to have the suit on and nice shoes. We went everywhere trying to get him shoes. It was ridiculous. And we finally found a place that had got two pairs of shoes. One he looked at and went, I'm not wearing something like that. That's what granddad would wear. So I was like, okay. Um, and then they got one pair, which were like a pair of brogues. Um, so he had those instead. And they looked really nice. But uh, he's still got them, but he can only wear them for short periods of time. Because he's been like, oh, Mum, they're killing my feet now. <laughs> Have you got a pair of blocks each, yeah? Lovely. Ooh, we are going to be sitting down to start with. You've got about two minutes, then we'll carry on. Take your socks off, yeah, make yourself comfy. I don't miss much, you're all right. false ones put on them before no yeah you can't wear polish when you're doing that can you Woo! did you do what I suggested Someone said to me when I was expecting Samuel, um, if you if you've got polish on your toes or you want to paint your toes, um, I'm just going to turn these ones off here and then leave that one on for you, if that's all right. Um, they said to me, if you can't reach your toes to do your polish, then sit on the toilet to do it, and it works. It's brilliant. Don't know quite how. I'm not quite gra grasped the logistics of it, but hey ho. <laughs> I suppose there's a gap, isn't there? There's a, there's a hole belly to sit. <laughs> right, so I'm just turn these lights off. Hello! Are you alright, babe?
come and do yoga if you want. <laughs> Bless you. Right, see you later, sweet. Right then. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Write them down. Write them down. If you write them down, you pass in the book. And it goes out of your mind more. It works. It helps. <laughs> Some, well, it does for me. It does for a lot of people I know. Um, but, uh, yeah. It does you good. Or read something nice, rather than sitting scrolling phones and stuff. Don't read horror. My mum gave me a my mum gave me a book. She said it's not scary. My mum reads James Herbert most of the time. She gave me this book. Yeah, she says it's not scary at all. I couldn't put it down. I had to read it because I was so scared that I couldn't go to sleep. And I said I rang her up the next day and she went, "How are you? I'm knackered." She went, why? I said, I couldn't stop reading that book. And she went, I thought it was a really good book. As well, I went, no, it's bloody scary. And I don't go to sleep because I thought someone was going to kill me in the night. She's like, for God's sake. Oh, she likes the CSI stuff and, yep, all the murders and stuff like that. She reads all of them. You don't want to get on the wrong side of mum. She knows exactly what to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Sam's a butcher as well, so, you know. It's <laughs> I'm going to scare everybody now. Those at home, please don't be afraid. <laughs> be terrified. No. Roll your shoulders back and down your spine. <laughs> Turn your palms to face the ceiling. Feet wherever you're comfortable. That's fine. Wherever they're comfortable, sweet. Just close your eyes and focus on your breathing for a few moments. So breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your nose. And again, breathing in. And breathe out. Do that one more time, please. Nice deep breath in. And breathe it out. Open your eyes, give your shoulders a roll back. And then just keeping your feet wherever you're comfortable, take your right hand to the floor. Take your head over to the left side, very gently. Turn your head look towards the floor if you can. Bring it back to centre and lift it up to the top. Swap sides, so take your left hand to the floor, lean your head over to the right side. Turn your head, look towards the floor. Bring it back to centre and lift it up to the top. Relax your arm, give your shoulders a roll back. Take a deep breath in, lift up. Really extend up from the base of your spine all the way to your fingertips. Keep breathing nice and steady, don't hold your breath. Keep lifting as high as you can go. And then relax the arms down. Take your fingertips just to the floor behind you. Squeeze the shoulders together and press into the fingertips to lengthen the arms. Fantastic. Bring your left hand across to your right side. Twist and look over your right shoulder. And switch sides. Take it round to the left. Big rotation, look over your shoulder if you can. And bring it back to the centre. From there, place the soles of your feet together if you can. Just hold on to your feet wherever you can get to. If you can't reach your feet, hold your legs and gently pull yourself forwards and down towards the floor. It doesn't matter where you get to. If you can get your nose on your feet, good for you. If you can't, I'm not going to stress about it. <laughs> Just do what you can do. And that aside, if you've just done the gold class, I wouldn't recommend putting your nose near your feet. <laughs> it can do, you just have to take your time. Gently release, unroll your spine, give your shoulders a nice roll back. Take your left hand across onto your right shin. Extend the right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Extend up through that hand and then bend your left arm slightly. See if you can pull yourself down a little bit further. Corinne, if you do need to go and you want to just tell them to come and let me know they're leaving, that's okay. Okay. And gently release, switch sides. So hold on with your right hand, left arm goes up towards the ceiling, extend up. Bend your right elbow slightly so you're pulling yourself down a bit further and extend up through your fingertips. Ah, 
and gently release. Hold on to those ankles again, pull yourself forwards and down. Elbows go in front of your shins if you've got that flexibility. If not, don't stress about it. And gently release. Bring yourself back to sitting upright, straighten your left in front. Take your right foot over the left leg and give it a bit of a squeeze towards you with the left hand. If that's fine and you can do that, take your right hand behind, rotate. If that's easy, wrap your arm around and pull it across a bit more. And if that's still easy, elbow goes across and use that arm as a lever to really twist. Keeping the legs as they are, twist around to the left, rotate again, learn to slightly higher in the spine now as you rotate, keep it there. And gently release, bring it back to centre, bring that back over to the left, the right side sorry, and allow your knee to drop down towards the floor. Use your hand to gently push that knee away. It doesn't have to go to the floor, so if it doesn't go, don't force it. Just gently press down. Left hand goes behind and rotate again. So you should feel the stretch more in the groin this time on the right side. Just keep it there for a little bit longer. See you later, babe. Mwah. <laughs> Come back to centre, bring that knee up to the top and straighten the leg away. Swap over, so left leg comes in, cross the foot over the top and wrap your right hand around it. Pull it towards you and rotate round to the left. Again, you can take the arm round that leg or you can go across and rotate, whichever you want to do. Gently release, switch round to the right side. Again, rotate through. The stretch will go higher in the back now. And gently release, uncross your foot. Allow the knees to drop down towards the floor. And again, just the gentle pressure from your wrist or your hand onto that leg to hold still. Take your right hand behind and again, press against it to hold still there. And gently release. Come back to centre, extend your legs forward, a bit of a wobble, and then take your blocks out from underneath you. Ooh. You'll need them again later, but not for a while now. Okay, from there, bring your feet round to your right side. So both feet round to the right. Wherever your legs will go to is fine. All I want you to do is press your left hand into the floor to bring you more upright and then bring your right hand across and see if you can look round behind you. You got cramp? Oh, bless you. Bring it back to centre, hands onto the right leg. From there, you can pull yourself towards that leg. You're not going to go very far. Your leg's in the way. And bring it back to centre. Now you can either swing your feet round and break dance, or you can come up and over using the knees just to cross over the top. Whichever way you want to do it is fine. If you can do a break dance version, make it look cool. <laughs> okay, so push your right hand into the floor to keep your body more upright. Left hand comes across and just twist, see if you can look over your shoulder. and then bring your hands round onto your left leg. Hold on to it if you can and pull yourself towards it. Again, you won't go far. If you can only hold on with one hand, that's fine. Support yourself with the right.
and bring it back to centre. Well done. From there, come up onto hands and knees and we'll turn sideways on. You want to be onto your hands and the knees themselves. If you need to fold your mat over so you've got double thickness underneath your knees, that's perfectly fine. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Extend your right leg back. So your toes are going to stay on the floor, so you're not actually lifting that leg away from the floor. Your left hand is going to go up and out to the side. Now it doesn't need to go right up to the ceiling, so just follow your eye line with your hand, or follow your hand with your eye line. And then you're going to bring that hand down and through, under the arm, and reach towards your right hip. Doesn't matter if you can reach it or not. So lift up with that left arm, and then reach through, right through as far as you can, drop the shoulder down. Keep it going, lift it up and away, and swing through. Lovely, do two more please. One last time. And gently release, hands to the floor, knees down, sit back and stretch. And then, oh, that was a good one. We're gonna come back up and do the same thing on the other side. So left leg extends back this time, toes stay on the floor, right arm is going to lift straight up towards the ceiling, and then swing it through, reach for your hip. Lovely, do that again, lift up and extend, and swing through. Brilliant, three more please. Two more, nearly there. Last time. And gently release, hands to the floor, sit back into your heels, take your knees a little bit further apart this time and relax yourself down. Now keeping it there, slide your right hand underneath your left arm, if you can, drop your shoulder towards the floor and relax your head down. Fantastic, well done. Keep it there for a couple more seconds. And bring it back to centre. Do the same thing with your left arm. So right hand goes forward, left arm goes underneath. Drop your head down towards the floor and stay there again. Gently release, come back to centre, hands underneath your shoulders, lift up onto the hands and knees, and you're going to go into cat to cow. So tuck the pelvis under, push your spine up, drop your chin to your chest. And then release, allow the spine to drop down, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. Do that again, tuck under and push away. And release. Exhale as you push under and lift. Inhale as you release. Two more times, tuck under and push, really mobilizing the spine and release. One last time, big press. And relax it back to neutral, well done. From there, move your knees back slightly and lower yourself all the way down to the floor, resting your forehead onto your hands. Wonderful, now from here, just sway your hips from one side to the other. And then from there, you're going to bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Hands are sitting on the floor straight in front of you. Roll the shoulders back and down the spine. Push into your forearms. Lengthen through your chin. Breathe in. As you breathe out, look over your right shoulder. Breathe in. Come back to centre. Breathe out. Look over your left shoulder. Breathe in. Come back to centre. Push into those hands very gently. Keep it there for a few more seconds. Breathe in. As you breathe out, elbows come down, swing them out to the side, rest your forehead down and relax it there. Bend your knees so feet come up and sway your feet this time side to side. 
gives you a little bit more of an intense sway through the hips and the lower back. And then gently release, extend the legs away, bring the feet together. Now cross one leg over the other, doesn't matter which. And then straighten your legs. So as you contract your quads, the top leg is going to lift slightly off the floor. You're not lifting it, the feet are staying together. Swing your elbows underneath you again. So if you point your toes on the top leg more than the bottom one, it just makes sure that leg stays extended. Push down through the shoulders, lengthen through the chin and the chest. Keep it there. Turn your head, look over the opposite shoulder. So if your right leg is on the top, look over your left. Gently release it back to centre and then relax down. Swing the elbows out, relax your legs, run cross and sway your hips. Do the same thing with the other leg on the top, so cross it over. Again, contract the quads so your legs extend, pointing the toes. Swing your elbows underneath you again and keep it there. Lovely. Roll your shoulders back and down, press into the forearms, lengthen through the chin. Point the toes on those legs. Breathe in. As you breathe out, look over the opposite shoulder. So if it's your left leg on the top, you're looking over the right. Gently release, okay? And then relax down, rest it there. Mm -hmm. Sway your hips side to side. And rest it there. Now bend your right knee. Take that foot across your left leg and see if your right, your left hand can reach back towards it. If it can't, just wave at it and don't worry about it. If you can reach the foot, just hold on to it and keep it there for a moment. If you can't, for, can't reach it, don't force it. Now if you can, just press into your front hand so you're lifting your head and shoulders up so you can look forward. If you've got hold of that leg and you can already feel a stretch or it's already uncomfortable, don't move on. If it's okay, then you can push the leg into the hand and pull the foot back. If it's already hurting, don't do that. Fantastic, well done. Gently relax the leg down, release that foot and rest your head back onto your hands. Doing the same thing with your left leg, so bend the left knee, take it across the right leg, so just let it go across, reach back with the right hand and see if you can find it. You had it when you came in. <laughs> Whether you could reach it or not when you came in doesn't matter. So from there, just gently press your hand and your arm into the floor so you're lifting and lengthening through your torso. If you're already feeling it, stay where you are, if not, begin to push that foot away and that will pull your shoulder back as well. If it's hurting beforehand, don't extend it further because it's only going to make it worse. Fantastic. Relax your knee down, relax your body down and bring it back to centre. Sway your hips side to side and release it there. Elbows are going to go wide this time, so straight out to the side of you. Make a right angle at your elbow joint. Stretch your fingers out and push into those hands. Lengthen up and away. Lift and lengthen through the chin and the chest. Keep it there a little bit longer. Now keep pushing into your hands. Drop your chin towards your chest. Lift your eye line up, look forward and relax your body down. Rest it there for a moment. Do that one more time. Breathe in. As you breathe out, press into those hands. Lift up, lengthen through the arms and look straight ahead. Lift the chin slightly higher if you can. Breathe in. As you breathe out, keep your arms where they are, drop your chin to your chest. And 
lengthen up and away again. Gentle lift up, push, 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 and then bend your elbows, take them back down, and rest it there. Bring your right knee round to the side. Extend your left arm forward. You're going to roll very gently towards your left side, keeping your right knee on the floor. So you look like you're in the recovery position. Keep that knee where it is. Lift your right arm over and extend back to wherever you want to go to. Keep it there for a few more seconds. And then take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, stretch that arm all the way over. Bring your hand back down to the floor, straighten that leg and extend your right arm. Bend your left arm, bring your left knee round to the side, gently roll onto the left side very slightly and then when you're ready lift your left arm all the way up and over. straight and bring those hands just underneath your shoulders. Push into your hands, lead with your nose, lift all the way up, sit your bottom back into your heels and rest it there. You can stay resting on your forearms, you can drop your head to the floor, you can do whatever you want really, just do what you feel comfortable with. Swing your feet round to the front of you and then lie yourself down onto your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. So you're going to rest all the way down. Make sure your blocks are in reaching distance before you get too comfy. And then just rest it there for a moment. So you're going to take the arms out to the side. Feet are hip distance apart. Sway your knees to one side and then to the other side. And as you do that, the top foot, top knee, sorry, should press down towards the bottom foot. Take them both to the right side and hold it there. Keep it there for a few moments. When you're ready, extend that left leg across and see if you can hold on to it. Doesn't matter if you can't, just do what you can manage. And gently release, bring that foot back to centre and come back to the top. Take your knees to your left. So your right knee should be pressing down towards the inside of your left ankle first. When you're ready, bring that knee across, extend the leg, see if you can reach it and hold. Doesn't matter if you can't, just tell it hang around where you feel comfortable. Bring that foot back to centre and give your knees a little bit of a sway side to side. From there, grab your blocks. You're going to lift your bottom up, put one block underneath it and relax. From there, see how you feel. If one block is enough, then stay with one block. If you think, mm, I can take this a little bit further, then lift your hips up again. 
put the second block on top of the other one and rest your hips down again. So the back of your pelvis should be resting on the blocks. If your blocks are all over the place, you're likely to tumble off it, so be careful. Once you've got your legs or your hips on there, rest your body weight down. Feet a good width apart, so back mat width apart if you can, and sway your knees side to side. As you do this, you should feel a gentle stretch starting to pull through the front of your hip bones, going slightly down towards the hip crease. Fantastic. Now take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Flex that foot, just hold it there for a moment. Now bring it down, place it just on the top of your left leg and allow your right knee to open out to the side. So take that knee to where you feel comfortable. It might not be comfortable at all and if that's the case, bring it back down. If it's okay, keep it there for a few more seconds. Gently lift your left foot off the floor if you can. If it's too much, leave it down there. If you're okay, just lift it up. You're pushing your right knee towards you and all I want you to do is hold it still. Gently relax that foot back to the floor and uncross your feet. Do the same thing with the other leg. So lift that left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Flex the foot, really push up through your heel. Fantastic, well done. From there, you're gonna bend that knee, bring it across onto your right thigh, and allow your left knee to drop out to the side. So again, that stretch is gonna go through your hip joint. Hold it nice and still. And then when you feel ready, lift your right foot off the floor so you're pushing your left knee towards you slightly. Breathe in. As you breathe out, take that foot back to the floor. Relax your left leg down. And then straighten your legs and extend the arms all the way back. Really big stretch from your fingertips to your toes. Now gently relax. Bend your knees. Take the arms out to the side. You're going to lift your right leg up once more. Reach up towards it with your left hand. Now if that means you're holding the back of that thigh, that's fine. Just pull the leg a little bit closer to you. And release that leg down. Do the same thing with the left leg. So bring it up. Right hand goes around the back of that leg. Just pull it towards you. Hold nice and still wherever you can get to. a nice deep breath in as you breathe out relax that leg take it down to the floor straighten both legs stretch your arms all the way back and take a really big stretch from your fingertips through to your toes again and then gently relax <sighs> bend your knees feet flat onto the floor, bring the arms all the way back over. Lift your bottom up, slide your blocks away, and then really, really slowly begin to bring your spine back down. Take your time. When you get to the base of your spine, just relax it there. Sway your knees a few times each way as your body relaxes back into neutral position. And then from there, just close your eyes and focus onto your breathing for a few moments.
So focus onto your breathing. Breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose. Breathing in deeply and breathing out slowly. Breathing in a sense of calm and peace. And just allowing your mind and your body to calm and still a little bit more every time you exhale. As your body relaxes more and more, it starts to feel heavier. Allow that weight to sink down into the floor beneath you. Taking with it any tension or tightness, any stresses or strains. Just let it all go. And then let that weight disperse and melt away, leaving you feeling very light, very calm, and very peaceful. Almost as though you're floating on air. Free from tension, free from stress and free from strain. And just allow yourself to stay there now for a few moments, enjoying the calm enjoying the chance to relax just for a little while. to become aware of the movement throughout your body, of the inhale and exhale of your breath, feeling the rise and fall of your chest and feeling your connection points to the floor beneath you.
begin to become more aware of your surroundings and more aware of your breathing. Still breathing in deeply, breathing out slowly. And when you're ready in your own time, begin to bring your knees towards your chest, give the legs a hug towards you, and take a gentle sway from side to side, easing any tension from your back. And then extend your arms and legs away from each other. Take a big stretch from your fingertips right through to your toes. And then gently release. From there, bring yourself back to a seated position, carefully and gently, so that you don't feel faint. of minutes just resets everything doesn't it yeah have a lovely evening and a lovely weekend whatever you're doing if you've got something exciting planned have fun if you're just chilling enjoy it chill like a villain <laughs> and i will see you all in your next classes have fun enjoy see you later deb well done <laughs>